Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Sophie and I am the face of Super Scrimping Soph. Um, I make videos on cleaning, budgeting, organising and lifestyle. And for today's video, it's going to be 10 ways on how you can make money go further. So if you're saving for something or you've got a goal by the end of the year, you want to try and cut back on ways and make your money go further so you've got more savings for that end goal. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of my top tips on how you can stretch that money and make it go an extra bit further so you've got a bit more money in your purse. So take note of these 10 tips that I have that you can do to make your money go a little bit further. Just before we get started, I just want to say I'm making a lot of budgeting and money videos at the moment. I'm no expert in money or finance at all. I'm just quite passionate um, for money and saving, so I just like to share my tips with you. Um, if you want to see any other sort of videos, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll certainly get on that. But I just thought January, we all are trying to cut back. We all want to save a little bit of money. So I thought these videos would fit quite well this time of year. But let me know otherwise, guys. Anyway, let's get started. So number one is quite obvious, but it is make sure you have a budget. Now this isn't going to make your money go further, but you're gonna have a better idea of where your money goes and how much you actually have to spend. So like I said in previous videos, write down absolutely all of your outgoings and income and budget for absolutely everything in your life. If you haven't done a budget before, um, it can be quite daunting, I understand that. I uploaded a budgeting video the other day that just shows you how to get started on your budget for 2021. So I'll make sure I link that below, so go over and check that out. But if you've done a budget before, you'll probably know how to do it. Just write everything down and there's loads of different ways to do it, but just make sure you're on top of your own finances. So that is my number one top tip. So the next one is number two, and that is turn off your lights and plugs. So after you walk out of a room, turn your light off. I'm really bad for this, <laughs> um, but I know it saves a lot of electric and energy in your house. Same for plug socket. So if you have your hairdryer plugged in, make sure you just turn off that switch. Other things we leave on are like microwaves and kettles, um, toasters, coffee machines. Just make sure you turn off those plugs. It literally takes 0.1 of a second. Okay, I've got a few food ones here, but I think food is a massive outgoing and there's so many ways that you can cut back on food. Number three is to meal plan and prep. Again, I've done another video on this, so I will link that as well. If you're a subscriber, you've probably already seen these, but if you're new around here, I'll just go and check those out. But I find meal prepping saves me probably hundreds of pounds a year. So just taking that little bit of extra time in the week, it literally takes maybe half an hour maximum, have a look in the fridge, see what meals you can make out of the stuff you already have. Make sure you check out the freezer too and write all of those meals that you could potentially make for the next week. And then write a shopping list of everything else that you need to get. This really does save a lot of money. It just takes a tiny bit of time out of your week, but will save you so much money in the long run. So yes, meal plan and prep your food for the week. This will make your money go so much further, I promise. Okay, that leads me on to the next one, which is number four, and that is shop own brand. I do this for pretty much most of my shopping. The only time I will buy branded stuff is when it's on offer and when it's actually cheaper than own brand stuff. Um, so it does feel like a treat, but actually you are saving money. But swapping things like dairy products, like cheeses, milks, tinned stuff, so chopped tomatoes, beans, soup, all of them items you can save so much money on and you'll make your money go so much further. So you can buy the nicer clothing or put it towards a holiday. So have a go. If you're not into this, then... Just give it a go, give it a month and see how you get on and I bet you, you'll be converted to 
own brand baked beans. Okay, my next tip is number five, which is shop secondhand. This can be for anything. This can be for clothes, shoes, furniture, homeware, tools, honestly anything. So say you find a nice jumper online that you really like, have a go at putting that brand, that style of jumper into like eBay or Depop or Vinted and see what comes up because I guarantee someone will be selling something very similar. You'll get loads more out of your money and this will make your money go a lot further. Okay, my next tip, which is number six, and that is no takeaways. So if you have a takeaway once a week, try and give them up for at least a month and see how you get on. There's so many different like bakeaways out there that you can do on your own at home and you can get really inventive and if you've got children, it'll be really fun to do with them. But yeah, try and cut out takeaways for a month and you might be completely converted and not get a takeaway for a year, who knows? But your money will go so much further because you'll spend at least 20 pounds on a takeaway once a week. It's a lot of money. So yeah, try and cut out takeaways for at least a month. Okay, number seven, which is one of my favorite things to do. And last year I did this a lot, which is grow your own food. So like I said, I did this last year and I absolutely loved it and it, they were like my little babies like I just really enjoyed growing my own food and you appreciated it so much more so yeah and this can actually save you a lot of money and if you've done it one year you'll probably continue to do it year upon year and you'll probably get more inventive and start growing random things as well and maybe selling them who knows so yeah try and grow your own vegetables Okay, my next one, which is number eight, and it is save your water. So when I say this, I mean cut out baths and cut out using a dishwasher. So try and save and limit your water for a month and see if it reduces your water bill. Okay, and my next tip, which is number nine, and that is to get loyalty cards. So this is quite a straightforward one and a lot of people probably do this already, but most supermarkets now offer loyalty cards and loyalty systems. And to be honest, you don't actually have to have a card anymore. Um, you could put it all on your phone and there's apps and stuff like that, but you can save a lot of money by having a loyalty card. Okay, and my final one, which is number 10, and that is say no. So don't be afraid to say no to other people. So this can really, really help and save you a lot of money in the long run. Um, and speak to your friends, speak to your family, and you might be able to come up with a compromise and do something different that doesn't cost much. And I know that we can't see our friends and family at the minute, so that's really rubbish. But yeah, if you are saving for something, speak to your friends and family. And yeah, don't be afraid to say, no, I can't do that or no, can we sort out a different budget for spending money on someone's birthday present? Just speak to them because they'll probably be more than happy to change or compromise, like I said. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you found these tips useful in any way at all. If this is the sort of content that you like to see, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. And don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help my channel out a lot. And um, also, if you want to press that notification bell, that will just let you know when I upload a new video. And yeah, other than that, I will see you in another video. Have a wonderful day, guys.